Hey guys, enjoying our reaction videos? If you are, please click the link to the reacted video in the description and show the creator lots of support. Thanks guys. Okay guys, I got some more Dragon Ball fun I want to partake in with you guys and I don't know, I'm like ignoring everything else around the house I should be doing and stuff because <laughs> I've got a Dragon Ball addiction now. Uh, hopefully I don't have to start like knocking over liquor stores and shit to feed this addiction um, because it, it's like all encompassing. So I don't know <laughs> how long I'm going to be able to continue putting up this many videos a day, but you guys keep suggesting more and more videos to me and then I keep finding more videos when I watch those and the related videos next to it that I want to see. So I end up coming up to do this and I'm, I'm certainly not going to watch any of them without sharing it with you. This is why I got into all this. I mean, you guys are the ones who brought me to it and you know, it's like, I love having this adventure with all you guys together. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much doing nothing else but um, watching um, Dragon Ball videos. That's apparently, I don't know that that's a profession, but I'm thinking of trying to go pro. I don't know who exactly is going to pay me for it, but we'll worry about that later. For now, let's just watch the video. This is the story of Goku the beginning. So I figured this will give me some good backdrop on everything. And now I'm... The DBZA is awesome, and now this is so much fun learning about the characters like this with you guys and just in, in these snippets. I think it's just a fun and cool way to do things. Well, So why don't I shut up and actually start watching the video so I can see the story of Goku. Kakarot, huh? Kakarot? Just another lower class warrior child. We'll send him to one of the frontier planets. He's no good to us here. I, I am. suppose not. Well, that's harsh. On planet Vegeta. A baby boy cries out for the first... He was on planet Vegeta? I, I didn't know that. I didn't know Vegeta was named after a planet or a planet was named after him. A baby boy cries out for the first time. Little could he know, <laughs> high okay. in the skies above, both his father He's and cute. his homeworld are under threat by a fearsome enemy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, fuck you, Frieza. <laughs> it all comes down to us. My fate, Planet Vegeta's Kakarot. And yes. <laughs> Yours too, Frieza. Damn. Oh shit, that ain't good. This is not gonna end well. Holy hell. Damn! Fucking Frieza, whoa! Dies calling for a son. This is a, this is like the uh, goddamn Disney movie. Because think about how many of those Disney movies start off with somebody getting killed, right? Going all the way back to Bambi, and then you got up with oh man, <laughs> it's, it's always a heartbreaker at the beginning. Shit, this is intense. I like learning this stuff. Damn, Frieza. Punk ass bitch. Kakarot, my son. You must succeed where I have failed. One day, you must rise up to avenge the Saiyans of Planet B So, he sent him away in a pod just like Superman was? Sent away from Krypton? Oh, then there's got there's got to be a Goku versus Superman fight coming in the future then if that's the case. Oh, I'm going with Goku. He would have said this to me any time ago. I'd have said Superman all the way. Fuck Superman. Vegeta, redeem the pride of our race. So it came to be that this child from a faraway planet fell to Earth. Oh dear. Huh. You can't very well leave you out here all on your own. 
<laughs> oh, and there we go. To the kindness of a stranger, he would make. Because you guys, took, uh, we learned in that other one I watched that he was found in the woods. Okay, it's starting to come together. Grown. <laughs> and thanks to the kindness of a stranger, he would make this new world his home. I think I'll call you Goku. Oh, this so that's why the Kakarot the Goku, Goku thing. Begins. All right. All right. The years passed, and the baby Goku grew to be a strong, healthy boy. But his life would be forever <laughs> changed when kid. he met a girl named Bulma, Bulma and joined her on her quest to find the Dragon Bulma. Balls, seven magic orbs that, when gathered together, would call forth the dragon Shenron to grant Shenron. a single wish. Goku met many new friends in his travels <laughs> and honed his skills as a pupil of the great martial artist <laughs> Master Roshi, from a dinosaur. skills that were continually put to the test as he was forced to defend himself and his friends against a host of dangerous opponents. Goku's toughest test came... So he whooped Tien's ass early on too? ...when he faced the powerful villain King Piccolo, but the help of the sage Korin allowed Goku to... Oh, I don't mean to keep... I'm sorry guys, keep... Pausing this, but this this one I watched it to learn from you guys. So Piccolo was initially a bad guy, so that's why. Because early on, there I knew there was friction between the two of them at the beginning. Ah, okay, so all starting to make a little Powerful sense villain now. King Piccolo, but the help of the Sage Corrin allowed Goku to tap that into vast cat. reserves of still hidden strength. In the battle that followed, the true extent of Goku's otherworldly powers was revealed, and with a mighty charge, King Piccolo's quest for world domination came crashing to a halt. Shit. However, that's what you call running through rat, somebody. King Piccolo had time to hatch one final scheme, and three years later, Piccolo Jr. appeared before oh, okay. of Goku, gotcha. looking to avenge his father and resume his evil plans. Another epic battle ensued, and though the two were almost equally this matched, in the awesome. end, the new Piccolo still could not withstand Goku's might. Five years have passed since that fateful day. Shit. Goku married his childhood sweetheart, Chi Chi, and the two have enjoyed a quiet life together yeah. while the world remained at peace. Until now. Whoops. This is fucking fascinating. That was good. Oh shit, I'm glad I watched that one. This I love learning about this this way. And I know uh, some of you have been saying in the comments, I've, I've repeated it over and over, but I know not everybody sees everything. Well, why don't you just go watch the original Dragon Ball? I would, but now it's become two reasons. The first one is, I, listen, I, I can't describe to you guys how tight I keep things for time. I'm not going to have time to sit down and binge watch. I'm not. It's hard for me to even put in a half an hour just to watch single episodes at a time or however long it takes. And the second part is, I like learning about them with you guys. That was an unintended thing. It just started because you guys suggested DBZA. I asked, I said, well, would it be fun to watch the abridged without knowing anything? You guys said, yeah, go ahead and do it anyway. And you were right. It's a blast. And I learned all about the characters through those through those episodes and you. And so now this is fun learning the backstory. I like doing it like this. This is, to me, what reaction videos are all about, is all of us being in it together. You know, and, and you guys teach me because... Question number one on this, what they did not say in there, what was Goku's dad's name? I mean, I'm sure I probably heard it before. Guys, you know my freaking memory, but I don't remember hearing it. What was his dad's name? Other than that, that explains a lot because I know early on too, you guys had told me about the Kakarot Goku thing, but I didn't really get the full effect of, you know, why two names and Vegeta always calls him Kakarot. Now I get it because it was the men on, on the planet Earth that say, oh, you're name of Goku, and he didn't. So that's why it's just like, a lot of similarities to Superman. Now I see why that debate goes on. Fuck Superman. I, I'm Team Goku all the way. Fuck you, Superman. Come on, I'll bitch slap you. No, I won't because Superman's like Superman and shit. But Goku will bitch slap you. Fuck you. Just making sure Superman wasn't here. <laughs> 